Millions of tons of goods are floating off Port Dalhousie right now as their ships are stuck in limbo. St. Lawrence Seaway workers in Ontario and Quebec are on strike as of early yesterday morning after failed contract negotiations. Eric Viano joins us live in studio with the very latest. Hi there, Eric. Hi, Taz. The strike has shut down the multi-billion dollar shipping corridor between Lake Erie and Montreal. That includes the Welland Canal. As around 360 workers picket in Quebec and in St. Catharines, there's a possibility that the federal government could get involved. Niagara workers picketed outside the St. Lawrence Seaway's headquarters in St. Catharines today. Just a short walk from the Welland Canal. We're looking for a fair and reasonable contract. 2023 standards, the cost of living. The two sides are currently not in talks, with both accusing the other of withdrawing from the negotiating table. We tried, we're still trying to negotiate with the Seaway. They will not meet with us. We're waiting for CNF4 to come back to the table after the vacated table just in a minute leading to the strike. So we're hopeful that we can have them at the table fairly soon to resume. The union said it remains far apart on issues of wages, the key sticking point in the negotiations. In the meantime, St. Lawrence Seaway says the impact of this strike is major. Today, six ships can be seen anchored in Lake Ontario just off of Port Dalhousie, while the Welland Canal remains closed. Right now, on a daily basis, you probably have $110 million of impact to both Canadian and U.S. economy. Cities along the Welland Canal are also expressing concern over the local impact. A number of businesses that rely on the canal, uh, they, bring, they bring in steel, they bring in grain, they move it out by rail uh, or truck. This is very important to us. We need to see trade keep moving. Business groups, including the Canadian Chamber of Commerce are now urging the federal government to intervene. This very much is is, is about the economy. I, I think you've got you've got a lot of sectors who rely on the on the St. Lawrence Seaway for to, to be able to to conduct business and, and and if they're on strike that means that goods aren't able to move. If they're not at the table and they're not talking we need we need the government to show leadership. St. Lawrence Seaway says it made an application to the Canada Industrial Relations Board seeking a ruling that would require some employees to continue working during the strike to allow vessels carrying grain to move through the system. I understand the board are actively looking at it as we speak, so we're looking forward for their response. However, Unifor National Representative John Hockey does not agree with this application. If none of the employees that actually do the work go to work, the Seaway will not run. We, we have some tools at our toolbox, and this is one of them, and I, I don't think it would be fair to us to negate that. There's no word yet if the federal government will intervene. However, both Federal Transport Minister Pablo Rodriguez and Labor Minister Seamus O'Regan took to X to urge everyone back to the negotiating table.